okay now come back so we are we have discussed two core tools used by the central bank to control money supply one is bank rate second is open market operation everything is there in your material just go home and read it so while doing open market operation i thought okay we will discuss this concept again this is the third current affair the third most important current affair in relation to money and banking two already we discussed i just mentioned we'll discuss later what is that incremental crr market stabilization scheme bond and third is in relation why i'm saying is after demonetization normally this comes in news regarding bond yields and bond price but after demonetization this has come a regular feature it is coming regularly in the newspaper bond yields have increased bond yields have decreased bond price have that thing this thing like that so we be very clear what this all about now try to understand it's a topic called as bond market which we'll be discussing detail in capital market in that class but the government security market is also a part of bond market okay now for you be very clear in india we are we are studying indian economy in india our uh, basically government also borrow fund through by issuing bond corporate also issue bond for raising fund since the corporate bond market have not developed that much in india generally when we talk about bond market or try to be very clear then when we use this word I, when we use the word bond market generally it is we are talking about government security market otherwise they will use the word corporate bond market now in india we don't have a vibrant corporate bond market what do you mean by vibrant or then where there are sufficient buyer and seller are there now imagine uh, a case like lulu and uh, central mall and also there is one more mall is there here that the old one gold gold soup what is the situation when you go to gold soup and uh, this uh, lulu mall in gold soup when you see it you see very few uh, very few buyers are there very few people the market over there is some some problem is there with that market it's not vibrant there is no sufficient buyer are there so that the sale is very less yes or no there are some reason for it i'm not going to that part but when you go to lulu full so many people are there so that's i'm just making a difference between two types of mall. both are mall but there are some structural differences in it i'm not similarly if you in bond market there are government securities have been traded corporate bonds are also been traded but when it comes to corporate bonds buyers are very less but for government security bonds there are more buyers are there there are several reasons for it so in india we have a liquid government security market we have a liquid government security market we don't have a liquid corporate bond market what do you mean by liquid market where you can easily convert your bond into cash it means that if you have a government security now if tomorrow you want to sell it there are buyers for it but if you have corporate bond now if you want to convert into cash to if you want to liquidify it there are few buyers are there for you so you can't so that's why i told you we have a corporate bond market but that corporate bond market is not liquid in the sense that there are not sufficient buyers for it the demand for corporate bond are less do you have confusion in this i try to understand bond market or capital market are basically now have this idea in mind when a person when a person issue bond they are issuing bond for a long period for longer period the government is issuing period if i say 10 year government security the government is issuing for 10 year it will get mature only after 10 year now once the government sell the government security the headache for the government is gone the government will only what the government will do 
the government will pay regularly interest and after 10 years it will give back the principal now who is the person then who buy the government security there are you are getting the point similarly the corporate person if the reliance is issuing bond if, if they are issuing bond for a particular period once they issue it they will give them regular interest and once the time get matured they will give the full principal also but suddenly if the bond purchaser the bond buyer if he want the, if he if he is urgency if he is urgent for money he require money urgently then then lies the problem after see he buys a bond after one year he need he has an emergency he require urgent money but he has a bond corporate bond he find it difficult to find get a buyer but at the same time if he was having a government security bond he just directly go to the government security market there are so many people to buy the government securities so this is the term i said liquid we have a liquid government security market but we don't have a that much liquid corporate bond market and that is again a current affair the government in this last 6 months is take, have is taking several steps to make our corporate bond market that we will discuss in when we discuss capital market in the capital market session we will discuss but today we are dealing with where today we are dealing with uh, money and banking where the major instrument used by rbi is only government security so we'll focus only with government security now the news which we talk about bond yield and bond price it is in relation to government securities be very clear whenever we, whenever the news is coming the 10 year benchmark so and exclude especially it is in relation to the 10 year government security the news which i posted now bond yield and bond price it is in relation to what it is in relation to government security that to benchmark 10 year government security why it is called benchmark rest of the other thing is that interest rate will move according to the 10 year government security now you be very clear what is the what do you mean by bond yield and what do you mean by bond price now here in bond market we can classify into primary market and secondary market so every market are like that especially financial market in financial market we talk about two types of market primary market and secondary market what is primary market for the first time you are selling for the you are selling a financial instrument for the first time that market is primary market so when the government issue security for the first time that is a primary market now who is there in the secondary market the issuer will not be there someone else will be there now once the government issue a bond and then this can be traded so you take the case of stock exchange stock exchange is a classical example of secondary market in stock exchange you see daily uh, shares are being traded not only share even bonds are also traded but if that trade to happen regularly there has to be regular or more number of buyers and sellers has to be there so in the government there is a bond market bond secondary market is there in the secondary bond market as the demand of the bond increase and decrease the price will move according to so the concept is very simple the concept is very simple what the bond price means how the bond price will increase when there is demand for a bond when there is demand for a bond when there is a demand for the bond the price of the bond will increase now take the case like this okay <coughs> if suppose uh, people want more government securities and there is only uh, imagine there are only thousand government securities imagine there are only thousand there are a lot of securities are there I'm just for your understanding imagine there are only thousand government securities and there are 1500 buyers for it everybody want one government security then what will happen they will caught more prices it will be like a bidding process the person who caught high price will get first then then ask the uh, till that thousand is get quoted it will be sold to them so this happens in relation to whenever there is demand so 
don't go into technicalities have this idea in mind when there is a demand for government security the government securities price will increase government security is a bond so the bond price so when there is a demand when there is huge demand for when there is huge demand for bond bond price will increase now what will happen now in the secondary market this is this is a thing which you come back uh, you might have come across that if yesterday if yesterday the uh, its base actually the bond price is mentioned as a base price like 100 100 means when it was issued it was 100 see there are see take like take the case like this the like a the price value been for one government security to be like 100 when it is issued when it is issued imagine it is 100 okay now after a certain period of time as the demand as the demand of that security increase or not the price will move above or below 100 now imagine like this the the bond 10 year bond price is now at 105 rupees or 105 that base it's not don't say it price if it is 105 bond price is 105 due to demand due to demand it has it has become 106 we call the situation what is called as bond price increase bond price have increased from yesterday from 105 from 105 it has become 106 now in the next day if it has become 106.34 it is also increase now in the next day it is 106.10 it is decrease so are you clear with it so just have an idea bond price can increase or decrease based on demand for bond now there is a relation between bond price and this is very important this is very very important there is a relation between bond price and bond yield bond price and bond yield now have an idea every bond when the government issue a bond it will be mentioning an interest rate suppose this 10 year 10 year government security is issued is issued for an interest rate of 6.7 percentage so what does it mean what does it mean that every one year every annually the the person who buy purchase this 10 year government security for every 10 year he will get that 6.7 percentage interest and after 10 year he will get the entire deposited amount so when he purchased this government security he has been guaranteed a return of he has been guaranteed a return of 6.7 percentage then this person who purchased this government security based on after, maybe after a few months or maybe after few years he may sell or buy that government security he may sell it in the secondary market so here when we, we are talking about the secondary this is we are talking in relation to the secondary market what do you mean by yield yield means how much return you get from a bond yield means what is the return how much return you get when you purchase a government security or a bond now what is my question is my question is what will happen the relation is very simple the relation between bond price and bond yield is inverse it's an inverse relation and this is very this is the most important point for you the relation between bond yield and bond price is inverse in the sense that in the sense that when the bond yield increases when the bond yield increases bond price decreases and when the bond yield decreases bond price increases so this is simple the relation between bond yield and bond price is inverse now we will see it how it is now see the case in this case in this case 
when a person who purchase the bond see for 100 only he will get the return 6.7 for 100 only he will get the return yield is 6.7 now for 105 yield will be less than yeah it will be less than 6.7 now a person who purchase now see that it depends upon what as you see it <clears throat> when you are purchasing it is very important now if you are purchasing at a lower price when you are purchasing at a lower price you will get a better you will get a better yield if you are purchasing at a higher price your bond yield will be less now you see it now when it compares to 106 from 105 when you are purchasing at 106 what will happen from 105 the bond yield again have come down or increased the return is return is slower so this is actually see when you see the news you don't need to go in detail anything like that you need to have an idea you need to have an idea what is the relation between what is the relation between bond price and bond yield and how the bond price is getting affected why the bond price is increasing why the bond price is decreasing that's a simple concept bond price increase or decrease based on the demand for government security now why it is important is <coughs> this is this 10 year benchmark yield this 10 year benchmark yield have an influence over the interest rate regime it's not the 10 year interest rate it's not this it's this is what the government have guaranteed when it was issued but now the same bond have been sold in the secondary market with the yield of maybe lesser now it means that some so we say that the yield is now 6.34 the same government security interest mentioning having this interest is having a yield only of 6.34 why he has purchased for maybe at 106 so at 106 the yield will be 6.34 now it means that the present 10 year government the today's 10 year government securities return is 6.34 it means that this should have this interest rate might have an influence over all our other borrowing rates so this benchmark government security interest rate have influence over other borrowing or lending rates especially in relation to corporate rate especially in relation to the bank lending rate everything has been influenced because this is at this rate government security is available so why should I so what the the safe investor will do what the safe investor will do this investor will always go for government securities why no risk at all for government securities for government securities no risk at all what about corporate bond securities there is huge risk after five years or after ten years are you sure that you will get that money back but in relation to government hundred percent sure whichever government comes they will pay back that money okay so since it's a sovereign instrument sovereign guarantee is there people all over the world go for this government security not only the Indian government securities it's the same case with so now tell me which is more guaranteed US government security or Indian government security <laughs> it is US government security obviously now there is a difference in the interest now again this is in news it's there in your article there is a difference between now there is a difference of if suppose there is a difference of four percentage of US government yield and Indian government yield Indian government security yield imagine a percentage difference of four percentage now try to understand that in the government security market it's not only the domestic investors it's not only the bank or it's not only the Indian people even foreign investors also deposit in the government security market now suddenly something is happening because of Trump Trump is going to make a havoc in the financial system 
because he is saying that uh, uh, he will uh, his government will ease the us uh, financial policy in the sense that uh, there will be lot of means through his government there will be more liquidity in the us the us government once he comes into power in order to uh, support the businessman you know that not trump what is supported by corporates so his policy will be different from the present regime so from the economic point of view in the us us government is going to inject liquidity for what to for supporting the business now what the central bank of the us will do they will suck that they will try to in order to control inflation or in order to control it they may they may uh, absorb that extra liquidity by by increasing the interest rate so it means that so once the us uh, the us federal reserve or the us central bank increase the interest rate the difference between the difference between the indian government security yield and the us security yield will come down so once the investors foreign investors who have invested in the government security market feels that the their us government security is giving better yield what will happen they will leave from here and go and deposit over there that will have an influence not only uh, for this in our uh, demand and supply but also it will have an influence on our rupee value also so i'm not going to i'm not going to discuss that but just since it is mentioned in the newspaper just have an idea that we will be discussing what will happen to the value of indian rupee we'll be discussing under exchange rate just have an idea since i have correlated okay so for you this bond deal and bond price concept has to be very clear there will be lot of articles i'll be posting you lot of articles read those articles just have an idea what are all things i have marked it important so that you'll be very clear with it for you this is very important what the relation between the relation between bond yield and bond price what do you mean by bond yield how much return you get on a bond how much return you get on a bond is bond yield so naturally when the bond price increases bond yield comes down okay so we'll take a small break have your lunch and come and then we'll continue